Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you are doing good and today in this video i'm going to show you the full review of lineage os 16 uh, which is based on the android 10 as you can see here everything is working uh, fine lagless launcher is where is very lagless as you can see here and android version of this rom is 10 as you can see here no more android by animations this is a pure android 10 on our redmi 5 and its security patch is 5 september 2019 and uh, google play services update is also 10 and uh, in this rom we have the wolf 3.5 plus kernel installed and it is a build it is a port from irfan's android 10 gsi so without any further ado let's get started First of all let me tell you the bugs the double tap to wake screen is not working uh, except the double tap to sleep everything is working fine as you can see here double tap to screen is not working uh, the launcher works pretty good the apps work pretty good and uh, as you can see here the pretty it is a pretty stable rom we don't have any lag and uh, this type of issue in this rom in the launcher we have the quick step launcher with some minimum settings like notification dot and add icon to home screen allow home screen rotation and uh, after it the app opening speed of this rom is also pretty good and you can see here the full screen gestures are also working fine the apps are opening quickly as you can see here and uh, in this rom we don't have any modded camera we have the simple camera you can also install the pixel 2 or pixel 3 camera we will check them later as you can see here the normal camera is working fine you can take pictures uh, you can uh, make a video and uh, now let's open the pixel 2 camera i will drop the link of the video of pixel 2 camera and pixel 3 camera you can check from the link in the description to install these two cameras now as you can see here the pixel 2 camera is working fine let's move to the settings of this camera here you can uh, check all the settings are available and working fine now let's take a picture and uh, it is taking a picture uh, smoothly so now let's uh, try the pixel 3 camera as you can see here it is asking for permissions allow all the permissions and again this camera is also working it is taking pictures smoothly and you can also check the settings and uh, yeah this camera is also working fine so you can install the both of them if you love installing custom cameras or google cameras and after it the gaming performance of this rom is also pretty good and uh, the overall performance is also good and in the quick settings we don't have a lot of settings and customizations we have some basic settings and we don't have any gaming mode in this rom so this is a uh, this is not a stable build this is a test build so stable build will come soon and uh, Uh, the uh, do not uh, install the chrome browser in this rom it will uh, make your rom lag laggy just install any other uh, browser like firefox or via browser now let's move to the settings in the setting we have the phi trouble settings and network and internet in the network in internet we have the available networks and sim settings after it we have the connected devices apps and notifications battery the battery performance is of this rom is not perfect but the battery performance is still good you can use it this rom uh, if you don't care about battery percentage because it is a uh, test build so the battery performance is good uh, in the display we have the brightness level night light adaptive brightness wallpaper dark theme dark theme is working fine as you can see here let's enable it again yes as you can see it is working fine after it we have the screen out time auto rotation font sizes in the font sizes we have four types of font sizes and in the display size we have three types of display sizes 
after it we have the lock screen display like lock screen uh, notifications and uh, always on display which is working fine as you can see here always on display is working fine on this rom uh, in the sound settings we have all the uh, basic settings and the sound quality is also good and, and as you can see here the volume panels uh, looks good as you can see here uh, you can manage the volumes and we don't have any me, uh, sound enhancer like me sound enhancer or any else and in the privacy we have the permission manager and lock screen settings after it we have the location in the security the fingerprint is working fine and quickly as you can see here and uh, in the smart lock we don't have the uh, face unlock we only have the trusted places and trusted devices and uh, after it we have some more settings like sim card lock and this type of settings and it after it we have the accounts you can add any account after it we have the accessibility we have google and uh, after it we have the system in the system we have the languages and input gestures in the gesture the first gesture we have this swipe fingerprint for notifications which is not working now let's test it that is not working keep it off and after it we have the jump to camera gesture which is working fine and after it we have the system navigation in the system navigation we have three options first one is the three button which is the uh, basic android navigation bar with back home and recent key and the second one is the two navigation button which is the android pie gesture and the third one is the full navigation bar which is the android 10 gesture as you can see here it is working fine without any lag and uh, from here you can ch uh, ch uh, set the back sensitivity on the gestures and after it we have the double tap to check phone and lift to check phone and prevent ringing gestures after it we have date and time backup recent option multiple user and system update and at the end we have the about phone in the about phone you can check the android version which is the 10 the fully pure android version which android 10 uh, animations and its security patch is 5 September 2019 and it is working on the Wolf uh, 3.5 plus kernel and it is a port from the Irfan's GSI so now let's move to the installation now if you want to install this ROM this is not a fully recommended or not a fully stable ROM this is a test build so if you want to test this ROM uh, download the ROM from the link in the description and reboot your device into any installed custom recovery after rebooting your device into installed custom recovery go to wipe and wipe everything except the internal storage and SD card uh, now go to install and flash the downloaded ROM reboot do not flash the gfs reboot and you will be in this room so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace